So over the last 12 hours, there's been an influx of comments over the last two videos that I made on the Acolyte not getting a second season. And in total, it's about 100 comments over those two videos. And normally I don't make responses to, you know, insults or hate because, you know, I've been doing YouTube for eight years now. I have been fatter for a lot longer than that. So I've developed a very thick skin on top of a very thick body. And again, self-deprecation, it's kind of part of my thing as being a Brit, so it really doesn't bother me. But what has caused me to want to make this video is I was watching as the comments came in, and at first I was confused. And then I found it hilarious because the vast majority of these comments are parroting a narrative that is just so blatantly wrong that I thought to myself, there has to be something more to this. There's got to have been something that triggered this because these people have clearly not watched my videos um, and are all saying the exact same thing. And I thought, where's this come from? And lo and behold, someone did say, I'm here from this channel. I'm not going to name them because that's what they want. Drama begets drama here, and that's how they make their content. So I never name these channels that attack either me directly or, you know, reference me because that's what they want. So... I go onto this channel, it's got about 100 odd videos, and it's the same usual copy and paste garbage that is just rinse and repeat, this is woke trash, look at these shills who enjoy this show, you know, this has got an agenda, it's the same thing that you've seen a dime a dozen online, you know, it's, it's a proven formula, you know, it's proven that, you know, people will you know, subscribe and watch hate videos, it's, it's a limited audience, but it's an audience that can make you a bit of money. And that's what most of them do it for. You know, they're all experts in milking every little bit of, you know, uh, content that they can. And I'm sure that they're delighted at this news of the act, like, because it means there'll be another month worth of content for them to, to farm. And so the latest episode on this channel, again, not one video that was authentic, that was kind of neutral, that didn't rely on them attacking someone in some way, shape or form. So you kind of know from the get go that they're not going to be, you know, very genuine. Um, and so you look at the latest video on this channel and it's talking about, oh, look at the reaction of the shills who are crying about the acolyte being cancelled. And I thought, here we go. I'm probably going to be involved in this in some way, shape or form, despite the fact that I get called a shill. And I have said on several occasions that I did not like the acolyte. You know, I didn't think it was terrible, but I did not like it. Um, so unless you absolutely hate it and you make several videos declaring your hatred for it, you are apparently a shill. So... Anyway, we look at this video, and yeah, I'm in there for five seconds, um, and it's a it's a clip of one of the videos where I say, I, I talk about the audience reaction, and I say that, yes, there has been a vitriolic reaction from a certain minority of the audience, a very vocal minority, and the way that the video paints it is that I'm blaming that for the cancellation of the show, and so the sheep being the sheep who follow this person have come to the channel and said, how dare you blame the audience for the yak like getting cancelled. It's woke garbage and you dare blame us. How dare you lie and manipulate and be disingenuous. Uh, who would do that? <laughs> I had to laugh because I thought if you just watched two minutes of the video. You would see that I used cold hard facts to deduce why the acolyte wasn't renewed. The most expensive show made per episode. The lowest views of any of the shows. You do the math. You add that together. And it's quite clear that's why the show wasn't renewed. Yes, I did make a mention of the audience reaction. But I specifically said that's not going to be the reason why the show got cancelled. Disney is profit motivated. If you don't make a profit, you've got no chance. And we know that Disney is ruthless when it comes to these kinds of things. So if you'd have just watched a few minutes of the video, you'd have seen that you were lied to. You were manipulated and you've ended up parroting a narrative like a sheep that you accuse others of being. You know, we get called shills and sheep for, for daring to enjoy some small elements of the stuff that Disney puts out. You know, for enjoying something in our lives. We hold our hands up and say we are sorry for enjoying something and finding some, you know, goodness in the content that's put out. You know, and but we don't hate everything ad nauseum. And so... Really, what I'm trying to say here is that, firstly, if you are one of these content creators that exists purely just to make content that attacks other people, and you continue this pattern of behavior, you are, at best, just a bully. Which, bullies exist. They mature, they grow out of it for the most part. 
you know, these content creators are probably fairly young when they start, and so it's an easy pattern to fall into. At worst, you make these videos because either A, it makes you money, which I can kind of a little bit sympathize with. Money is a very big, you know, seductive element when it comes to, uh, to life in general. If you can find a successful formula and you get taken in by, you know, the profit of it all, then realistically, you're no better than Disney because you will sell out your own morals. You will bring others down. You will do things that, you know, most people, most ordinary people wouldn't do for a profit. So I can at least understand that, though, because, again, the, the law of money is very strong. And you do have to be a kind of very uh, strong-willed person to not at least consider it, to, to follow a path that will be very lucrative for you, even if... You know, it does involve being nasty or selling out your morals. The alternative is that if you claim you're not doing it for money, then you're saying that you do it because you enjoy it. And that's even worse because it means that you enjoy pulling others down purely for your own entertainment, which is something I could never understand. Um, you know, the, the need to drag others down to lift yourself up indicates firstly that there is something severely wrong in your life you're missing something and you have to use you know this formula of insulting others and attacking others to give you that warm fuzzy feeling albeit temporarily because i'm sure it wears off after a while but it must be great to see an audience latch onto that and to see people back you up similar people who are probably just looking to be part of a community you know again they're missing something in their lives you know, maybe they're isolated, you know, maybe they've been bullied and they just want to belong to a community. And then when they find that they can, you know, attack someone else, they can redirect the vitriol that's been directed at them and make someone else feel shitty. That makes them feel good. And especially if you can be part of a community with that, it must it must be reinforcing in some way, but it doesn't cover up the gaping hole in your life, you know. So that is the worst outcome, that you do it because you enjoy it, which is just, I don't understand how someone can be that shitty, you know, I don't, I don't like insulting other people, I don't like dragging them down, sure, I don't agree with everyone and everything, I don't like everyone, I don't have to like everyone, you know, there are people who I will call out online, because I think they are either a shitty person, or they've done something shitty, and I won't hold back in, you know, venting my real feelings, but at least they will be genuine, and they'll be deserved. But once I'm done, I'm done. I'll leave it unless there's anything more to say further down the line. Or, you know, they do something else, which very often doesn't happen. You know, and it's very often only the people who are truly influential in the world. You know, the billionaires, the politicians, you know, not content creators online. You know, yes, there are situations where you might make a, a video in response to something a content creator has done if you feel like they are, you know, influencing the majority of young people. I've done that, it's because they are having a negative impact, but then you're done. I don't make a living off it, which is what you do, and I think that's very sad. And so if you are one of those people who saw that video, came across, commented, I get it. I get why you might have, you know, decided to leave a comment without watching the video first. Because why would that person lie to you? Why They've, they've just presented you with a five-second clip of me saying something. So that must mean that that was in context and completely valid. I'd just say maybe in future, just try and, you know, have a bit of perspective. Try and break out of the echo chamber. You know, just look at a video for longer than the five seconds just to make sure that the context is correct. Because otherwise, you know, it might get you in trouble in the future. That's, that's a lot of people who've been put in prison. Specifically thinking about the likes of January 6th because they've been manipulated and led on. And so when they act in the absence of others, when they're encouraged to act in the absence of others and suffer the consequences because they didn't think or they were manipulated, they're the ones who are left to pick up the pieces. The people who do the influencing, they move on. They move on. They forget it happened. They don't really care. So I'm just saying, just think about it just a little bit. Maybe be a bit kinder, you know. But mostly, just go watch the video. You'll see that I, that wasn't what I was saying. So there you go.